The previous city council approved $600,000 of American Rescue Plan Act funds for a Family Guidance Behavioral Health Urgent Care Center. But that project is getting pushback from a neighborhood nearby. News Press Now's Quinn Ritzdorf has more. Right now, there is a two to four month wait for mental health services in northwest Missouri. This new facility, which plans to open in the fall, wants to help fill that gap. So what we want to do is just be that bridge provider for people until they get into the provider of their choosing. So we just may be treating people for that two to four month period until they can get into Mosaic, until they can get into Northwest Health, until they can get into the center. The ARPA funds were to be used for the purchase and renovation of the new facility along Frederick Avenue. But the city put the $600,000 on hold after the Stonecrest neighborhood raised some concerns. When, when patients are brought in and dropped off, there's no restriction. They can simply deny services and walk away. And because one of our entrances, popular entrances to Stonecrest is right next to the facility, some residents are concerned that they might walk away and come through the neighborhood. We can't lock our doors. So if somebody chooses to get up and walk out, they walk out. But I don't see that that poses a risk to anybody. The Homeowners Association would also like to see a transportation plan before the facility opens. We fully understand that people from all walks of life sometimes need uh, behavioral uh, health counseling, uh, mental health counseling, medication, and so we fully support that. We're not against that at all, but we just want to make sure there's some formal plan in place that, that they will stick to to avoid some of the concerns that I addressed earlier. Family Guidance said it provides transportation to clients using family members, buses, Uber, cabs, law enforcement, and even its own staff. But the ARPA funds are still on hold until council work session later this month. I was fairly shocked that I heard that the funds were being put on hold and, and was a bit concerned that the that a small group of people who are raising concerns about this could attempt to block this from coming to our city to help benefit the community. The city's need for more mental health services now awaits the decision of the new city council. Quinnard Storff, News Press Now.